Hello and thank you for your interest in part four of my ebook series, Practicing the Piano. Part four is all about performance and I've divided it into three separate volumes, each one dealing with a different aspect of performance. So in volume one, I talk about how to develop performance skills, specifically in the practice room. I suggest here five different ways of practicing in the run up to a performance. And I also show you a technique called practicing a performance which we do in conjunction with spot practicing, um, which really does strengthen your playing immeasurably. In volume two, I look at performance anxiety and how we might treat that with medication and also with other therapeutic techniques such as CBT, meditation, etc. I ran a short informal survey, performance anxiety among pianists, and I use the results of that in volume two. Uh, it's quite surprising how many professional pianists who were anonymous in the survey felt free and comfortable about admitting how much anxiety affects their performance. Um, and I also suggest in volume two how you can use the techniques that sports psychology has equipped us musicians with nowadays, such as visualization and a whole host of other techniques. Volume three is all about memorization. Now, I feel it's very important if we're going to play a piece from memory that we begin the memorization work as we do the note learning. So we don't save it until the end. Uh, the chapter I think that will help you the most is the final chapter, Tools for Memorization, where I give you a whole variety of different approaches to memorization, illustrated with videos as in previous parts of the publication. Remember, if you're enjoying your performance, the audience will enjoy it too. And I sincerely hope that this publication will equip you to get to the place where you can enjoy your own playing.